hello guys so now we shall be discussing about the intercostal veins okay so topic of discussion would be about inter coastal veins now regarding this intercostal veins there are two different types of intercostal veins same like arteries only even arteries we have got two what are the two arteries anterior intercostal artery and posterior intercostal artery even veins also we have got two what are the what are these two veins one one we have got is the anterior intercostal vein and next one we have got is the posterior intercostal vein anterior intercostal vein and next we have got the posterior intercostal vein okay now in how many intercostal spaces these veins are located for example anterior intercostal vein is found in the first nine intercostal spaces okay it is found in the first nine intercostal spaces so it is found in the upper nine intercostal spaces right same like arteries how many anterior intercostal arteries we have got in each space we have got two pairs even here also each space contains two pairs of veins each space contains two pairs of veins right same like anterior intercostal artery even anterior intercostal veins are also located to in each space how many we have got two each space we have got two when it comes to the posterior intercostal vein posterior intercostal veins are located in all spaces all spaces so same like arteries posterior intercostal artery in each space how many we had we had one right so here also each space we have got one pair right each space we have got one pair of posterior intercostal vein picv right posterior intercostal vein now first of all let us discuss about these posterior intercostal veins right and later on we shall look at it at the other topic right now in this posterior intercostal veins you need to understand one thing that see on the right hand side we have got this vein like this this is called as right brachiocephalic vein right and on the left hand side also we have got a vein like this this is called as left brachiocephalic vein so how many brachiocephalic veins right and left brachiocephalic vein so both of these brachiocephalic veins together they join and form this uh, opening called as superior vena cava so let me if i if i write it down so what are these the first one is your right brachio cephalic vein okay and this one over here is called as your left brachiocephalic vein and here this is called as a superior vena cava this is called as a superior vena cava now all the way there is one vein okay there is one vein that is draining into the superior vena cava and that is called as azygous vein see so this is the vein that is draining into superior vena cava and that is called as azygous vein now into this azygous vein two other veins are draining so one vein which is coming from the top the one vein that is coming from the bottom is called as hemiazygous and the vein which is coming from the top is called as accessory hemiazygous so what is this this is called as accessory hemiazygous and this is called as hemiazygous so there are two important things accessory hemiazygous as well as hemiazygous vein now if you look at the right and the left brachiocephalic vein so all of you just pay attention to whatever i am drawing over here for example the first posterior intercostal vein the first posterior intercostal vein on the right side it directly drains okay the first posterior intercostal vein on the right side it directly drains into what right brachiocephalic vein in the same way in the same way the first posterior intercostal vein on the left side directly drains into what left brachiocephalic vein so the first posterior intercostal vein or we can also call it as right posterior intercostal vein drains into right brachiocephalic vein left posterior intercostal vein drains into left brachiocephalic vein okay after that the second third and the fourth posterior intercostal veins on the right side see second third and fourth all these three intercostal veins on the right side on the right side 
they commonly drain into what exiguous vein okay but by the way these the second the third the fourth three of them together they formed one vein here this vein is called as right superior intercostal vein what is this right superior intercostal vein so let me write down the names over here so let me first number it out this is the first this is the second third and fourth right so the first intercostal vein is draining there directly and by the way this the name of this vein is right superior intercostal vein now the same thing will also happen on the left side on the left side also if you if you look clearly the second the second the third and the fourth okay so the second the third and the fourth these three also they join together and they drain into what left brachiocephalic vein so this is one of the very important thing which you need to understand and by the way here it is called as right superior intercostal vein so what will be the vein here this will be called this will be called as left superior intercostal vein so what is this called left superior intercostal vein and if i number it out how will i number this is my second second this is the third and this is the fourth and by the way not to forget that this is the first one okay so what have we discussed guys we discussed on the right side the posterior intercostal vein first one directly drains into right brachiocephalic left side the first one directly drains into left brachiocephalic 2 3 4 join together to form right superior intercostal 2 3 4 on the left side also join together to form left superior intercostal the right one drains into as i guess on on the left side we don't have as i guess so it drains into this brachiocephalic vein itself now coming on to the remaining coming on to the remaining branches which means see after four we have got five right we have got branch number five we have got branch number six we have got branch number seven eight nine ten and eleven all these branches they directly drain into the as i guess vein so what are these branches guys so one is five six seven eight nine 10 as well as 11 they are directly draining into the azygous vein now when it comes to this the left side is very important now look here on the left side on the left side 5 6 7 8 they drain into accessory and the remaining 9 10 11 they drain into hemi azygous okay so like this 5 6 7 8 they drain into the accessory hemi azygous 9 10 and 11 they drain into the hemias i guess okay so this is what you need to remember so here we have got 5 6 we have got 7 we have got 8 and here we have got 9 10 and 11 draining here okay so next important thing after looking at this drainage system there are two additional veins that will be draining even in the arteries also i told you lastly you have got two arteries beneath the ribs you called as subcostal arteries so obviously here we even have veins called as subcostal veins so let us say that these veins over here see there is one vein that is draining directly here right this vein over here is called as your subcostal vein but on the right side subcostal vein this is called as right subcostal vein in the same way here also we have got a vein that is uh, draining all the way up like this into the hemi azygous this is called as what left subcostal vein right and left subcostal vein now apart from that there are two veins that are ascending up there are two veins that are ascending up what are these two veins see one vein that ascends up like this and drains directly into this there is another vein also ascending up directly and entering into this so this vein over here you call it as right ascending lumbar vein right ascending lumbar vein so when it is right ascending lumbar vein the opposite will be the left ascending lumbar vein right and left ascending lumbar vein 
so these are some of the important things which you need to know guys so here what we just discussed is that intercostal veins are of two types right one is called as an anterior intercostal vein next one is called as a posterior intercostal vein now in this anterior intercostal vein right we discussed two important things right what is that it is present in the upper nine spaces and each space contains two here also it contains in all spaces each space contains one right if you look clearly over here guys these are very important this part is very important okay two three four two three four they are directly draining into a zygous vein right they are forming what they are forming right superior intercostal vein now here also two three four are there right but these two three four together they are forming left superior intercostal vein and draining here next after that we have got five six seven eight okay next here we have got what we have got five six and seven eight on the left side draining into hemi azygous vein and after that we have got what nine ten and eleven that are draining into hemi azygous that is accessory this is hemi azygous and obviously these branches right subcostal here we have got left subcostal right ascending lumbar here we have got left ascending lumbar so these are the hemi azygous as well as the azygous system so these are all regarding the intercostal veins and remember one thing if i divide okay if i divide this entire picture into two halves for example okay if i'm dividing this entire picture into two different halves here i can tell you that this part is completely the right posterior intercostal vein part and this part is completely the left posterior intercostal vein so this is the last important point i want to tell you that this part is your right intercostal this is your left posterior intercostal part okay so all these veins which are on the right side are called as right posterior intercostal veins all these are on the left side are called as left posterior intercostal veins so this is all you need to know regarding the intercostal veins thank you so much for watching my video goodbye